The crying prince has spoken yet again and he's getting on our nerves. As the release date of Harry's memoir draws close, his remarks are getting increasingly bizarre. They are hitting the headlines every day. Recently, Prince Harry had claimed killing 25 people in Afghanistan. However delusional this may sound, he also claimed that he could communicate with his dead mother, Princess Diana. He has tried to sell his glycerine tears to the whole world through his sob stories, his emotional statements, and as if that wasn't enough, now he has pulled a classic fairy tale move. The boy who cried wolf has turned into Cinderella, it seems. He has blamed his stepmother of ill will. In a recent interview, the Duke of Sussex has described Camilla Parker Bowles as the villain. The villain in his story, mind you. He has accused his stepmother and the Queen Consort of leaking personal information to the British press. Now we understand the royals have this sense of living in a fairy tale, of playing prince and princess since childhood, and have their butlers and courtiers to clean up their mess after them. But I have to say, Prince Harry is taking it a little too far. He is living in this fantasy world where his stepmother has made deals to sabotage his family and aim for the royal crown, the big prize. In a recent interview referring to Camilla, Prince Harry said, and I'm quoting, She was the villain. She was the third person in their marriage. She needed to rehabilitate her image. He also confirmed that he and his brother, Prince William, begged their father not to marry Camilla. According to him, the marriage wasn't necessary. He believed it would do more harm than good. In his upcoming memoir, Harry has gone so far as to claim that Camilla launched a campaign to marry his father, who is now the king, King Charles III. Prince Harry watched too many rom-coms growing up, it seems. He claims shortly after Camilla started meeting him and Prince William, their private conversations began to appear everywhere in all the papers. Stories that contained pinpoint accurate details, which Harry says surely didn't come from Prince William. He's certain that the details were leaked by Camilla. That's what he alleges. He goes on to allege that Camilla is dangerous. When asked why, he said because of her need to rehabilitate her image. Camilla was the third person in then Prince Charles III and Princess Diana's marriage. They were famously involved in an affair and they tied the knot back in 2005. According to Prince Harry, Camilla compulsively tried to purge herself for being a home wrecker, his words. Now how does trading information with the press and how has it helped that cause, that is something only Prince Harry seems to know. It's all a big mystery. Now his claims might have been received a little more seriously if he hadn't built a reputation in recent weeks for seeking attention. First, Prince Harry says he can talk to his dead mother. Then he accuses his stepmother of being a villain. His mommy issues are clearly on display. And the world is finding it hard to take the little prince seriously. Just days ago, he boasted about killing Taliban officials in Afghanistan. Harry served in the British Army for 10 years. But need he be so boastful about the casualties? We've all seen war movies where fighter pilots notch up their kills. Snipers often keep a tally, becoming local heroes that reporters would want to interview. And the locals would look up to. But what Harry said triggered outrage from military personnel and British experts. It's not so much his action, but his language. British troops have already been accused of committing war crimes in Afghanistan and the British prince is telling the world that the Taliban were seen not as humans but chess pieces. Many believe that what Harry said sounded bloodthirsty and what he said did not fit the British army's narrative. British soldiers are seen as noble warriors. They are perceived as reluctant to do inhumane things but still do it for the sake of their country. And Harry seems to have broken an unwritten code. Soldiers mention being part of wars, but they rarely talk about killings, let alone give a count of casualties. And even if they do so, it is a conversation meant for bars, which occurs over a couple of beers with their comrades, not something that is televised all across the world. 
in a bid to make himself marketable, to be seen as a war hero. Prince Harry may have ignorantly invited security threats, at least that's what the UK experts have said. And when this tactic did not work in his favour, as in failed to fool the viewers, here is the prince trying his hands at different remarks. Hurling accusations at his mother, claiming she launched a campaign to marry in the royal family. Will you buy this one? Or will you wait for another bizarre one to surface? I'm sure it won't take very long. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.